In this video, I will make a, a merge collage or a, a, a blend collage. So I go to File, New. Now I need the size around about the size of a uh, six by four image because I'll be making them about that size. I go to and type in six. I'm going to highlight all that. Type in six, and down the bottom, the height would be four inches. Now I need to go to my advanced button because I want a transparency one. Now it says they are filled with a background colour. Pull down the arrow and click on transparency and then click OK. Now we have our clear image. Now I go to your lip tool and just draw an oval with inside to centre it up a little bit. So you give yourself plenty of room around the edges. Now we go to, we need to put a um, a quick mask on that. You can click on the little icon down the bottom or you can go it from the select and then click on quick mask there or shift Q key. I'll use the icon down the bottom corner. Now I'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, the change length so I need to type in about 130 will do I think and just click on the bottom one and it gives me the blur. Click OK Turn the, the uh, quick mask off. We've still got our little selection. We need to invert that. We go to select and invert the selection. We go to our bucket fill tool. The, front, the foreground colour is black and just fill that inside there with black. And then we go to select and select none. Then we go to edit and we copy that to our clipboard. Now I go back to edit, and of course it's on the clipboard, you can now paste it as a new brush. We go to a new brush, and it brings up a little dialog for a br brush name. Our brush name, I'll just type in blend. And then it wants a file name, you highlight that. And the spacings, just leave it at the default. We click OK. It makes our new brush and puts it in the brush folder, nice and easy. That's our new brush there. You can see the word blend and the other one's on the clipboard. That'll disappear once you reload again. It won't be there anymore, but you'll still have your brush. So we close that off, don't save. Now we go to file and we create a new file. We're going to use a template. We pull it down. We make a uh, yeah, 1024 by 768. We click on that one. We click OK. It gives me a white background and I need to put a a colour in there so I'll put a blend in and I'll come down here and uh, that one down there yellow and orange I just drag it across the top there that gives me a nice bit of a background make it a little bit more distinctive more blendy I'll go that way that's better now we need to put our images in we go to file we open as a new layer or we'll open as a layer and have them in a nice folder all ready to go and in this case I've got it on the C drive and I've got them in the uh, blend where are we? blend colleague now oh, that one there will do click on open now it's a nice big layer we go to layers and we scale our layer in this case we'll we'll type in six and we need to change the inches change it down to inches so we know where we are that's quite a big image so click in six and just click on the bottom one and it'll give you pretty close to 6x4 and go to scale. I've got my brush selected, that's that one there. Now go to the image once again and I add an alpha channel. That gives me a transparency. Now I go to the eraser tool and type in the size of the brush which will be close to, we just uh, delete those ca uh, numerals up to the decimal point and we type in 472 and then press enter that gives me the brush pretty well close to what size I want there and I place it over the image and just click on it and that's taken the blend now we go to the move tool move the active layer radio button and just move it into an area up there now we go to file open as a layer it knows the file it was in and click on that one open Go to layer, layer size, pull down the little button there, 
inches, highlight the characters, and six, and just click on the bottom one by four. Oh, and made it a bit bigger, and scale it. Probably take it with another another camera, go, uh, put in an alpha channel. Go to the eraser tool. Now our brush is selected, we place it over the top. Or oh, in this case, I need to go up a few little steps because it's a bit bigger. That should get me out of trouble. Bang. Now go to the move tool and just move that into there. Now you can see how they'll blend together. Now I go to file, open as a layer, and we move to the next one down. Let's have a look what it is. Click on that area there. It'll give me what the image looks like. Yeah, that's okay. Click OK. Scale it. Go to File. Scale it. Once again, we pull that down. Inches. Highlight the characters. Type in 6. And click in the area down below. Oh, which is still a big one as well. I'll make it a 4. Just put in a 0 there. And then scale it. Now, right click the layer and put in the alpha channel. Go to my eraser tool and just place it over the top of the image and click. Now I go to the move tool and we just move it up so it blends with the others up the top there. Now just uh, right click any of the images and the flatten the image. It's just a repeat of everything. So there's our colleague of blended or merged images. You can change the size of them and make them bigger or smaller. And the using the brush or the eraser, if you have a vertical one like you're doing an ancestry one where you have uh, groups of people and you've got the brush or, your, or the, uh, the eraser tool, I'll just move it up a big one. We can see what well, I need to make it a, uh, a new layer so you can see what's happening. So I'll go to new, new layer, and just turn that other layer off, that eye, fill that with white. Go to the eraser tool. All you need to do is change the angle of the brush or the eraser. You can change the angle by 90%. You just 90 degrees, whichever might be, and you just click on it and change it 90 now it's a 90 degree so you just paint over the top of your uh, your image if it's a, a portrait photograph click on more underneath or show more you will see a link to a website where you'll find a pdf file and all the instructions